So this is the last thing what we are gonna see in date picker is how can we make our custom date picker? Okay, so this is how you can make your own custom date uh, custom picker like I want to choose the donut and uh, also choose the onion over it. So I just confirm it and get these two values like this. I get the column one value, uh, the donut and the value is zero, zeroth index and this is the value of column two. So this is the onion. So how can you make this or you can change the value to like this or you can customize the things like this you only want a single column so how you can make this so you get the value that you have clicked is welcome so let's walk through the code so i just took one button okay and this is the iron picker will present this is uh, the method you can get uh, or you can present the picker okay so I don't think that it is necessary over here and just a one click. So it's a function and this is the text over the button show multi column picker or a single picker according to you. And this is the open picker function. So let's see how these open picker function works. So I just go over here and this is I use the async method over uh, open picker and this is the number of columns I passed over here default is one if you don't give it will take one or the number of options is five for example you want to just display the two two things of an array or a list you will passing through it so you can give over here a two if you are passing then uh, by default it will take five and this is the column option by default it will show the default column option that is one one column picker so i have mentioned over here this is i am passing over here you can just directly uh, give this also or if you are passing something over here also uh, you need to write in your ts file so how this works so this is the two column or you can say the multi column options this is the one column and this is the second column okay and this is the default column option that is one column so this is how it works so by default the one column option will go in this column option and then i will uh, use the picker controller to create the picker so for that we need to go inside this picker controller and when i go inside this picker controller i just control and click picker option so it will take us to the picker option so that we have this column option what we have given over here uh, this is our column option what we have given uh, and it takes the picker column so it takes an array of picker column so we will get the column over here and this is the second thing i am using is button so this is the button array you can just specify uh, specify here also or you can just get uh, something from above also just pass the array of a uh, list of buttons to this button and you can use uh, that way also and the next thing what i just did is the picker dot present to present the picker and we have many more things that you can customize the css of this by using the css uh, this attribute over here and give your css or you can you want your backdrop to be enabled or disabled you can give the boolean true or false okay so this is how you can add the animation over here and this is the backdrop if you want to disable the backdrop you can just simply give true or false and these are the following things you can see by your own i just explain you the code okay so from here we'll get the column okay so get column we have another function uh, the number we are passing like one or five so it will iterate over the column numbers and it will give us the new column okay so the new columns uh, is like this you can just define it over here also i have just uh, made it generalized way so that you can pass any number of uh, things uh, like if you want to use 
the three columns so just give it over here and this is and i just okay so i just remove this thing and this is the three column so i just give the column numbers is three and let's see so how it looks so this is the three column it has made so i just made it a generalized way so that uh, you can give any number of columns or you can give a one column so you just need to specify over here and this is uh the number of items you want to show okay so so this is how it works so this is the donut ice cream whatever maybe so and this is how it works so i will provide you the code in my github link that is below and please go and if you enjoy the video please hit the subscribe thank you for watching the video please hit the subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates